Hey guys, there's Shirley Kevin Grace. I'm here in Baltimore. I'm on North Holiday Street. I'm a block up from Baltimore City Hall. Behind me is the Peel Museum. And the historical significance of this building behind me, this structure is the oldest museum building in the United States. And by that I mean it was made specifically to be a museum. Many times uh, different structures could have been a residence that later was turned into a museum, but this was specifically made to be a museum. It opened in uh, 1814 by R painter Rembrandt Peel. Matter of fact, he had other siblings and his dad was a uh, great painter as well. He was famous for uh, painting portraits of George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. But in June the 11th of 18. 16 he dazzled uh, citizens of Baltimore with gas lighting he wanted his museum to be uh, uh, opened at nighttime so patrons could come in and pay 25 cents to see his portraits and he had a Macedon inside and had some other exhibits as well that was very historic in itself uh, the only other places in the world that were using gas lamps were England and France and the following year 1817 June the um, 15th 1817 two blocks away he lit the first gas street lamp here in Baltimore and in 1945 there were over 16,000 gas lamps here in Baltimore but he was really the founder of the uh, gas light uh, company of Baltimore which later became BG&E and so you have him to thank for that or hate for that depending on what your bill is but so much history but anyway uh, in 1830 this building was sold to Baltimore City and it became City Hall and it stayed that way until 1876 and this school became one of the first public schools for colored children this is where they could get a high school diploma right here in this building so so many different uses and and different things as well and later in life this building was the uh, uh, municipal uh, museum of baltimore and it just recently finished some major uh renovations so it had been closed from 2017 until a few months ago and they put a new roof on they uh, added an elevator to make it handicap accessible and they added a uh, new heating system and some other things as well inside but you can go online and find out what days they're open and even uh, this white part of the building that was not initially white it was a different uh, color so they've added some different things as well and if you ever saw any old pictures of the building it didn't have this um, this little art thing up there like that that's uh got uh, added later i think maybe in uh, the 1930s when they were doing some renovation on the place but uh, this place had several different uses over the years as i mentioned uh, they were saying that people that couldn't afford to come into the museum would stand outside right here on this street and look upstairs in the second floor and see the lights inside shining brightly but uh see what this plaque over here says this one over here talks about when it was added to the uh registered national historic landmarks and that was in 1966 as i mentioned that was the u.s department of interior did that and this is a uh illustration a painting that they have of what uh rembrandt Peel look like with his gas light ring showing um, the patrons inside what a lit room looked like. Like I said before, they were using oil and um, then he started using gas. 
like I said, Baltimore is the first city in the United States to start doing that. Uh, like I said, over in England and France, they were using that technology. Uh, and then by 1957, all the gas lamps were gotten rid of by uh, Mayor Tom D'Alessandro. And you know that name. That's, um, that's the father of um, Nancy Pelosi. Some of you may or may not know. But uh, anyway, this talks about this building was made by Robert Carey Long. And he also made um, the dental building in Baltimore. Uh, that structure and also St. Paul's Church were two other structures that he worked on. But anyway, oh, and this is a gas lamp. Uh, this was redone as well. Like I said, this is what the gas lamps look like. You see with the lights and all that stuff, but uh, they refurbish these. So from what I understand, this uses gas to uh, be illuminated. But if you ever hear on Holiday Street in Baltimore, right by City Hall, come on down and visit the Peel Museum. A major makeover for the Peel Museum, and today we got a look. An open house was held. The museum has quite a history. This is the first purpose-built museum in the country, actually in the Western Hemisphere. Um, it was opened in 1814 by Rembrandt Peel. It has had many lives since then. Um, after it stopped being a museum the first time, it was sold to the city by the Peel family and it became Baltimore's first city hall. Um, it was also the place during Rembrandt Peel's day that gaslight technology was introduced to Baltimore. Interesting. The renovation project cost five and a half million dollars. A grand reopening is set for August 13th, which is the weekend of Peel's 208th birthday. The museum shares Baltimore stories through digital platforms, as well as performances, talks and other events. It's located on Holiday Street right near City Hall.